Hello, Burberry Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. How are you guys? I hope that you're having an amazing and a beautiful day. And girl, it is time to talk about the real housewife of Salt Lake City because Miss Heather Day Gay, I'm sorry, is like breaking the internet with. I don't know if it's the right reasons or the wrong reasons or definitely one of those very controversial topics, you know, that uh, we definitely need to talk, okay? Um, Heather Gay, you know, she has been a person on the show who has always, mm, I don't want to say struggle, but like, because I have never actually seen her talk about this, but like she has always been like a big girl you know she's not like super overweight or nothing like that but if you compare her to all of the other girls you know she has always been like the bigger one you know what i mean and um i never really thought too much about it because i like again it's not like she is like a thousand pounds you know so i was like whatever you know she's still like a beautiful woman right uh, but then people start noticing that she started losing a lot of weight, you know, and now she's, I mean, she's looking amazing. She has a great body. Uh, I'm bad that she's doing all kind of also like treatments to her face, you know, and all of that. So, um, you know, it's like, <laughs> sorry, I just, I remember something, but like, so, you know, she has always been, um, no, now she's looking like super snatch and small, you know, and all of that. And uh, she has been very open, you know, into her journey using Ozempic, you know, and and doing certain like uh, things here and there to like get, you know, smaller. And now she she went on on an interview where she basically doubled down. You know, she says that, you know, she used Ozempic to lose uh, 30 pounds, you know. But I think the comment that really robbed a lot of people the wrong way at the beginning, you know, was when she said that body positivity is a lie, you know, and that uh, that that has been her experience, you know, that it's a lie, that you are not, that you never feel okay being a, a bigger person, you know, that skinny people always feel better, look better, are treated better, you know, and that it, that's just the reality of the situation, you know. Um, <clears throat> this is a very, like, this is a very interesting topic, you know, and I, a lot of people, you know, of course, went on to, like, full backlash against Heather Gay, you know, saying that, that's disgusting, that you have to accept everyone, that you have to love everyone, that you have to love yourself, that you have to love your body, you know? But little by little, I have also been seeing a lot of support uh, from other people, you know? And I have, I definitely have an opinion about this, you know? Look, I am a person who has a struggle with my weight since I can remember, you know? I, this is not like, oh, I was skinny all of my life and then at some point I, I, I win a bunch of, uh, I, I win a bunch of weight. No, I literally have been dealing with weight issues since I can remember, since I was a little, a, a little kid, you know, I have been on every single diet that you can imagine. I have done every single sport that you can imagine. I have had blood tests. I have had all kind of things, you know. And it has been a very, very, very hard uh, journey for me, you know, because it's very hard for some reason for me to lose weight, you know. Um, people sometimes look at me, you know, and they think that I might be eating like junk food every single day, that I should be like sitting on, on my ass all day long every single day, you know, and things could be like, couldn't be more far from reality when I clean I, I eat like the cleanest diet that you can imagine i basically almost live a keto life you know very weirdly i even have carbs um i uh i exercise regularly you know like not every single day but i try to like 
uh, uh, do 10,000 steps as much as I can, like almost like every other day. Uh, sometimes I go to the gym, you know, stuff like that. And still, I cannot lose the amount of weight that I should be losing to be on my regular weight, you know? Or like the, the way that, you know, the the doctors or whatever said that I should be. It's very complicated, you know? I have not... Um, I have not gone into any of, you know, the, the drugs because I am not diabetic, you know, so I have not, inter I mean, I, 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 I cannot even access to it, you know, through my insurance and I am not going to be spending a thousand, like $1,200 a month, like on, 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 on getting a Sempic or stuff like that, you know, so it has been, so I understand how the world works when you are overweight, how people look at you when you are overweight, when you work in the industry, when you are in a city like Los Angeles, how people around you treat you when you are overweight, it is completely different. And I have met all kinds of friends because one thing that I do that a lot of people don't do is that I actually, I do accept myself because I say, what else can I do, you know? And I, and I have uh, this vision of like, I want to lose weight, you know, like my dream body will be, you know, being 200 pounds, you know, um, and I do want to lose, uh, I, I, like, that's my dream. I would love to have that weight, but for some reason, I just don't lose that weight very easily. It's very, 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 very hard for me, you know, but I do know how the war, you know, um, look at me, you know, on that situation. So I learned to accept myself, you know, and I love myself and I, and I love to dress well, you know, but I am not blind to what Heather Gay is saying because she is right on what she's saying, you know. I have seen how skinny people get treated better, get access to clubs, get, it's so easier for them to buy clothes, you know. It's uh, like, when you look at a skinny person, usually people think that they are so organized, you know, and so healthy and that they, they are successful and they are all of these, you know, and it's just the way it is. So, you know, you know that I have never been like super fan of, of Heather Gay, but like I understand that a struggle, you know, of because I have gone through that mindset many times. I will have been like, shit, if I will have the money, I will just have every surgery in the world because it is annoying sometimes, you know. You know how many times I look at a, at a you know, um, a clothing thing, you know, and I'm like, oh my God, that looks so cool. And then I put it on myself and either it doesn't fit or it looks completely different and you are like, yeah, that's, that's just not going to work out, you know? You have to look to something different. And it's annoying, you know? It is very disheartening. So yes, in theory, we should live on a world where everyone accepts you and everyone loves you and everyone will give you the, the same opportunities that skinny people have. But the truth is, if you are not skinny and you do not have the money and the time to be skinny, the world won't treat you the same way. So that's why on this one, I don't understand the backlash that people are giving to Heather Gay because I'm like, she's right. And the only her only thing is, her only crime is having the money to become skinny, you know? Um, I believe in body positivity. And I, one thing that I tell um, my husband who has struggled with his weight also for a very long time, and in his case, it's very also like he let it go to like his mental state as well, you know, is like you have to love yourself, you know, you have to like you want to lose weight, do your the whole thing, but you cannot kill yourself, you know, you cannot like be depressed all the time because you are not on your perfect body. And you cannot pretend to only be happy when or if you ever get to your perfect weight. You know what I mean? So you just have to love yourself. And you just have to go through it every single day. It's, it's the way it is, you know? Uh, and also, if you are deciding to go through the healthy lifestyle, you know, that you are, you are going to do it for yourself, you know, because you, just for you. 
not for your mommy saying or or your friends are saying or the society is saying you know you should do it for yourself otherwise it's going to be hell because i have been on that hell many 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 times and believe me for the regular person it is even harder you know my insurance doesn't cover any of the medicines you know so like how did that left me where i'm gonna get twelve hundred fourteen hundred dollars a month you know so i can get a sempic and it's not only about the sempic you still have to work out you still have to have a great diet you know so if you have the money to have a chef or to have personalized meals or to have a personal trainer and to do all of this of course you're gonna lose weight of course you're gonna look beautiful and amazing if you're gonna have the money to take all the extra skin if you have the money to you know be snatched you know and do all the all, all the work that you have to go on this pass and on, on, on your skin and like all of the, of course you're gonna be amazing but guess what most of us don't have access to those things you know and I think what Heather said it was something that it needs to be said because it is true, you know, and it, it, that's the way it is. And I don't think that condemn her for going on a sempic and wanting to be skinny, you know, is a bad thing because weight and self love is such a personal journey that absolutely no one should should have a say on it. You know, do what's best for you, but do it for yourself. You know, and I think that that's the next message. You know, it needs to be for yourself. I don't know what are the reasons that uh, Heather are doing it because she also said like, you know, like people treat you better, and it is so right. People treat so much better skinny people. It's just the way it is, and it's sad and it's annoying, but it's just the freaking way that it is, especially again, when you live in Los Angeles or where you when you work on the industry, you know, everyone, like if you're skinny, then it's okay. If you are not skinny, sometimes they don't even like say hi to you, you know? And it's it's sad and it's weird, but it's just the way it is, you know? Um, and I, I actually have to somehow congratulate Heather on the realness. You know, they ask her, like, you are the mother of three daughters. What kind of message are, are you putting there, you know? And she's like, I just want to, I'm, I'm trying to be a, a good mom. I'm gonna try, and I'm teaching them to, you know, love yourself and, 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 and be the best version of yourself, you know? But at the same time, her daughter, uh, her daughters are skinny. <laughs> they have not have to deal with this problem. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, it is what it is. I don't know. You know, I cannot hate on Heather Gay on this one because it's such, it, it, like, it hits so close to home because I have been going through that journey ever, ever since I can remember. And I literally still go on that journey today. And it sucks. You know, it sucks. It is just the way it is. So, I don't know, that's the tea that is going around. You know, people are trying to cancel Heather. A lot of people are actually, like, defending her as well. But, of course, I understand that if you are in the industry and you go out there and you say, like, you know, fat people sucks. Or not fat people, but, like, being fat sucks, you know. Everyone is going to be like, oh, my God, no, like, love yourself. We have to, like, love yourself, love everyone, you know. And, yes, of course, we have to. But that's not the reality of what happens, especially in the United States of America, you know. So, yeah. So, let me know what you guys think on the comments below. How do you feel about all of this? Guys, don't forget to uh, check out my merch. I dropped new merch. You can see it, all of it down here or the link is on the description below. I do have all sizes, different colors and different designs, you know. And we ship everywhere around the world. So, go and check it out. And if you are new here and you want to know everything that is going on with but you know the bravo verse pop culture streets or any of this don't forget to subscribe 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 hit that notification bell like that video and share this video and i'll see you around see ya bye